In this video, we will set up the Museify application on your local computer. Once you download the source code, you will get all these files. This Museify admin app, which is the React frontend application for the admin portal. Museify app, this is for the users where they can listen the songs. Museify API is nothing but the backend Spring Boot API. And this Museify API collection is the Postman collection. And this Musify architectural design is the uh, designs of the, uh, the entire system. And this albums will give you the sample images, the albums images and the songs. First, let's, uh, I will show you the Musify architectural designs. We have a couple of designs. So let me view this in the list view. So the very first is the high level system design overview. Uh, this will give us the entire application overview, the front end application, back end application and the database and the front end will uh, talk to the back end api through the JWT authentication and the back end will communicate with the mongodb database and also it will uh, talk to the cloudinary for the uh, image storage as well as the audio storage this is the high level system overview next we have the authentication and security uh, overview the sequence diagram we have the user front end and JWT filter authentication controller and the database the entire uh, application, application architecture have been added here. Along with this, we also have this front end component architecture. Uh, what are the different component architecture we are using like auth provider, play pro, uh, player provider, search provider, and the entire main components that will talk with the, that, that is having the navigation bar, sidebar, display player. And we have the different routes like home, album view and search results. This is about the component architecture overview. Similarly, we also have this backend API structure, uh, which is having the security layer uh, and the endpoints, the presentation layer, business layer and the data accessor layer. So this is all about the architectural designs. Of course, you can take your time and you can uh, read about the complete architectural design. Next, we have this Postman collection. First, let's import this Postman collection inside this Postman. Let's go to the import and we need to select the files let's go to our desktop and uh, let's go to the downloads and go to the project downloads and select the collection the json file and click open this will import the uh, collection inside our uh, postman and you can see we have all the api endpoints add album promote to add bid login register add song read albums all the api endpoints are present here Next, we need to first import the backend project into our IntelliJ IDEA. Let's go to the downloads, uh, project downloads. And here first, let's extract this uh, zip file. You will get this folder, Musify API. Let's open this in, inside the IntelliJ IDEA. Let's click on this open and go to the downloads, project downloads, Musify API and click open. And let me, okay, let me close all of these files. So this is the typical project structure. I highly recommend you to use the same IntelliJ idea because the experience is really good and you will not face any issues while setting up on your computer. First thing what we need to do is we need to configure the MongoDB database. Before that, you need to install the MongoDB server on your computer. I believe that you have already installed the MongoDB server. Once you install the MongoDB server, you need to start the server. I have already started this MongoDB server. There are plenty of videos available on internet to install the MongoDB server. Just watch any one of the video and get it installed. And also once you installed, uh, you can automatically start the server. Once the MongoDB server is started, you can connect to, to that server. For that, you can use the uh, ID or you can use the tool, which is MongoDB Compass. I have already installed this MongoDB Compass. If you can see, I have already created this connection. Just expand this and you will see the uh, databases which are available. First, let's create a database for our project i'm going to click on this plus and enter the database name i will call this musify app 
okay just enter the collection name I will enter test and create the database okay now we have created this database and also there is one collection is present now open the IntelliJ and expand this and go to the SRC main resources and open the application dot properties file and you can see we have already configured this MongoDB uh, database which is Musify app that is the reason why we have created the uh, database with the same name Musify app and it should be running on this port 27017 by default this is the default port and currently it is running on the local host we have given as local, ho local host and this is the driver name and next we need to change these uh, values we need to add the cloudinary configuration to do that first you, you should be creating a new account inside the cloudinary go ahead and create a new account it's completely free to use just go ahead and create a new account once you uh, logged into our account you will see this dashboard and go to the settings and go to this API keys and you will find the cloud name and the API key and the secret key make sure to copy all these three information and add it here you can add the cloudinary name here the uh, cloud name which is this one and you can add the API key which is nothing but this and the secret key which is this make sure to add all these uh, details here and then that's it that's the configuration that we're going to take and care uh, as a part of this application or properties file i'm going to close this file okay now let's start the application i'm going to just open this java folder and open this file which is the application file and click on this uh, play button and you can debug this or you can run this i'm going to just run this application you can see the tomcat is initialized on the port 8080 and the tomcat is started on the port 8080 perfect we can test the api endpoint let's go to the postman and we should have this health check endpoint just click on this and click on this send we should see the uh, message api working perfect now we can set up the front end application just go to the uh, downloads where you have downloaded the projects and first let's set up the admin panel just extract this zip uh, file we will get this folder which is musify admin app let's open this inside the webstorm you can also use visual studio code i'm going to open this and go to the downloads project downloads and select the folder which is musify admin app click open and the project is opened inside the webstorm first of all i'm going to install the dependent if you are opened it in the uh, webstorm it will automatically ask you to install the uh, dependencies just run this command in case if you are using the Visual Studio Code just open the integrated terminal and run the command npm install this will install all the npm dependencies let's if you go to the project explorer you can see now we have this node modules now let's go to the api service.js and currently our backend api is uh, localhost 8080 if you are running it on a different port you can change the port here okay now we can run this application let's go to the terminal just clear this and npm run dev this will start the application on localhost 5173 let's go to the browser and navigate to localhost 5173 we should see this admin panel now the email address and password by default when we run the backend api it will automatically create the uh, credentials for us if you can see the default admin user is created which is admin at the rate musify.com and password is admin 123 let's enter this admin at the rate musify.com 
admin123. Click login. Boom, you can see the admin is logged in successfully. We have the add song, list songs, add album, list albums. Let's try to add the new album. Let's go to the uh, downloads and go to the project downloads. Uh, we have this albums. Just add the album, which is uh, maybe Ashiki 2 and add the album name. Hindi romantic movie. And I can add the background color. Just select this color palette and select this and click add. And boom, you can see the album added. If you go to the list album, we should see the album Ashiki 2 Hindi romantic movie. Now go to the add song and just upload this song. I'll just add this song and let's add the image, the album image, song name. Enter the description in the romantic song. Let's enter the album name, which is Ashiki 2 and click add. It will upload the song and image into the Cloudinary. Boom, you can see the song is added and now let's verify this. Let's go to the list songs. You can see the song. We can verify it in the database also. Go to the MongoDB database and just refresh this. We should see the album songs and users collection. I'm going to delete this test collection. Don't need this. And if I go to the users, there will be a single user. Okay, admin user and we have the song Tum Hi Ho and albums Ashiki 2. Perfect. Now we have installed the admin panel in the same way. We will also install the user panel where the user can listen the songs. Let's go to the projects downloads and we have this Musify app. Just extract this and open this folder inside the WebStorm. Okay. I'm going to open this WebStorm. Click on this file and click open and select go to the downloads and go to the project downloads and select the folder which is Musify app and click open. Let's open this in a new window. Perfect. I will just okay as soon as I open this in the uh, web storm it will ask you to uh, run this command which is npm install this will download all the dependencies i'm going to run this command if you are using the visual studio code you can manually install this by entering the command npm install okay now we have installed all of the dependencies that's it all we need to do is run this application so open the terminal and first let's verify uh, open the project explorer and go to the src and go to the context and Inside this auth context, you can see the backend API is uh, provided as localhost 8080. If in case if you are running it on a different port, change the port number here. Perfect. I'm going to run the command, which is npm run dev. This will start the development server localhost 5174. Open the browser and navigate to localhost 5174. We should be able to see this login page. Now let's try to log in with the, let me go to the email address. I will create a new account, bushan at example.com, password 123456, configure password 123456. Now click on this create account, boom, registration successful. Now enter the email address, bushan at example.com, enter the password. Click sign in, boom, the user is signed in and we have this home, search, explore premium, the logged in username and logout button. You can directly start the start playing the song. By default, uh, the very first song will be selected here. I'm going to just click on this play. You 
click and pause the song click on this next to play the next song click on this previous to play the previous song that's it you can also go to the albums and you can see this album songs right now there is only one song for this particular album clicking on this back it will go back to the home page and you can log out from the application that's it this is how you can install the project on your computer i hope you can also install it on your computer without any issues make sure to install the necessary softwares which i have mentioned in the document and you are good to go if you fi feel uh, if you find any difficulties while setting up your project feel free to reach out to me or you can ping me in the slack i will try to help you thank you so much for watching happy coding